Embracing Danish Happiness. A Texan's Journey from Dallas to Copenhagen. In a recent CNBC Make It video, Alana Buhl shares her newfound joy living in Copenhagen, emphasizing that Danish life offers more than just a cultural blend with coffee, it also harmonizes with your wallet. Buhl, a 30-year-old teacher who moved with her husband and two-year-old son, sheds light on why the higher cost of living and taxes in Denmark are outweighed by the country's robust social system. Despite the raised eyebrows at Denmark's 35.5% average tax rate, Buhl and others argue that the substantial benefits provided by the Danish government make it a worthwhile investment. Denmark boasts free healthcare independent of employment and fully funded education from pre-K to university. In contrast, the 30.5% average tax rate in the U.S. forces Americans to shoulder more out-of-pocket expenses, particularly in healthcare and education, leading to financial strain for many. Buhl acknowledges the initial shock of upfront costs for apartments in Copenhagen, where basic amenities like light fixtures and appliances aren't always included. However, she contends that Denmark's long-term benefits, such as rent control laws and the stability of staying in the same apartment, outweigh the initial financial setback. Copenhagen's ninth place ranking in Mercer's 2023 cost of living city ranking is contrasted with Dallas's 53rd place, emphasizing the trade-off between short-term expenses and long-term housing stability. The heart of Buhl's transformation lies in her improved life satisfaction. She repeatedly emphasizes the relaxed atmosphere in Copenhagen, where the prioritization of life over work allows for reduced stress and more quality time with family. Denmark consistently ranks as one of the top five happiest countries globally, as reported by the World Happiness Report, while the U.S. sits at 15th place. Factors like social assistance and the freedom to make choices contribute to Denmark's high ranking compared to the U.S. To bridge the satisfaction gap, the article suggests a novel approach for Americans, implementing a personal, Danish tax. By setting aside an extra 5% of income to counterbalance higher expenses for education, healthcare, and childcare, individuals can potentially enhance their overall well-being. The article concludes by encouraging readers to explore avenues for tax savings, maximizing credits, and claiming uncashed refunds as a means to improve financial stability and potentially achieve a more satisfying life.